Welcome everyone, this is Nichelle Anderson. I'm your host for my podcast show, Surviving Your Journey to a Success. Thank you so much for joining me today. Guess what? This is my premiere show and I'm so happy to be returning back for my seventh season. Can I say a woohoo? All right, so I'm very excited to be able to share with you today's topic, which is why some people lie constantly. Okay, I'm going to get all up into that. Also have another podcast show, Nichelle Anderson's Short Stories and Beyond. Do check that out. It's on the same platform here that I distributed. But you can get it in Apple Store or any other platform where you listen to your podcast. And I have a, another premium type membership. You can sign up and that's on Substack. That link would be in the description of this podcast. Do check that out. What I do release is, you know, not released to the public type content. If my comedy series is on there, you find out different projects that I'm working on and get into the know. So if you want to support me, go ahead and sign up to be a premium member. And that's it on Substack. So I have that link in the description. Thank you so much for turning back to my show, returning back to my show. During my summer break, I like to kind of, you know, kind of relax and kind of understand what I want to do for the next season. And this season, I really want to just kind of get into it where we're talking about not really say taboo topics, but most of the time you don't really hear about it. And people are like, you know, I guess we just dig with it and move on. So this particular season, I really want to focus on getting to the root of what's going on and explaining it, right? That's my goal when I wrote my book, Surviving Your Journey to a Success. I do recommend you check that out and purchase that book. I have plans to update that to get like a part two, but for right now, that's it. And it's good, okay? It was featured in Essence Magazine as the Korea Bible, right? So I get all up into it. And here in this podcast show, Surviving Your Journey, it's all about making the right choices. It's about understanding what you're going through. Once you get to a root of that, you get the clarity. And when you get the clarity, you're able to make the decisions that you deserve to get the mental peace, all right, that is important okay all right so without further ado let's go ahead and start my premiere show isn't that something seven years where i really do like podcasting it's kind of therapeutic for me as well as i hope for you and with podcasting everybody have a different you know topic and what they want to focus on here i really kind of get into the motivational aspect of my nature so i like to give i think giving is like the 360 of life and within giving you you basically get it back and you kind of stay away from that greed type mindset that you got to have this, you got to have that. And it kind of just really goes to the heart of what I believe what God intentioned was in the beginning. Not to go all on deep into that, but overall, my focus is to help you to understand what's the best in life, why you should be able to aim for that, what you should not do, what you should avoid and move on. And that helps the 360 of life with somebody else down the path. So that's where you get, all right? <laughs> Surviving your journey. Okay, so welcome my survivors of the journey to my podcast show that aims to inspire and motivate you that will continue to have joy and in your heart, peace of mind, and guess what? For your sustained success. So let's go ahead and get into this. Why some people lie constantly, all right? Why do they lie? Well, let me go into my important wisdom point. The heart is a real entity. That's what I really believe, y'all. Within us, that desires to be loved and oftentimes the mask of the other person doesn't really show like everything that's in their heart. And then once it is linked to what they try to do in the sense of taking the innocence or taking the assumption that it's okay to do that, creates a way for them to constantly feed off that so when someone that said before they love you but they say things that are hurtful or do deeds that are so awful right and try to use the word love like i like to say that's cold words they use cold words to ramp up the emotions in you that you don't feel all wonderful right it's a tricky part of the heart or the mind is trying to protect it. But love is such a powerful word of energy. That's why there are so many movies and cartoons about falling in love and all that good stuff. Because it's hell to get back up from that when you fall in love, as they say, and you're with someone that doesn't appreciate you. It's, it's very, very hard. So here are the top three things why some people lie constantly. And this is a bonus I'm about to say right now. They, if they can get away with it, they manage to feel 
they need to control and control all about is an inadequacy of the person so my first point is why some people lie constantly is a tremendous fear of their inadequacy so they make up falsehood like a like a fake blanket to soothe away that deep ingrained fear covering the root which is some type of root or unclarity event in the past to the now of the future right so if willing they can fix it but if they choose not to by continuing to lie because it's like a like a sugar wash or something like that and they 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 like that because it makes them you know have this euphoria type mindset they keep doing it because it helps to create the reality that they want even though it's a lie they still do it so my podcast episode eight and episode nine it helps a lot of why emotional pain comes back so sometimes well i guess you say most of the time but Sometimes the reason why they they lie is dealing with some type of emotional trauma. It has risen up. That's why I want to recommend to do listen to my episode 8 and episode 9. And that helps you to kind of understand more of why emotional pain and managing that is so important. So that's basically the reason, the number one, the inadequacy of themselves. And they get some type of feeling of euphoria from it and a need to control Okay. Number two, and this is kind of reiterating about major control issues, either of you or them or whoever is centered in confusion. So lying helps to overlap that and secure them in the way like a, like a security blanket. It's not good, but they do it anyway, right? And so it feeds into the, uh, the uncertainty, the confusion, the need to compete or need to bring down someone else it gets really crazy and they feel crazy (laughs) really because on every level everybody know right from wrong now sometimes without having enough information you just making a decision you don't really understand it but life always bring you to the truth of what is take a while whatever but eventually you get the truth so then you have to decide and for people that lie constantly, they're getting some type of benefit from it. That's number two, um, still that we're talking about of why the top three things. And it always leads to inadequacy of number one that I said, as well as here in number two, in the sense of needing to be able to control who's leading the ship. Okay, it really shouldn't be them because if you have to lie constantly, that means when the truth is says you really need to duck and move to the right, no, you want to move to the left because it feeds your inadequacy, then that's the problem. And it tears away the brain. The brain is a logical, functional entity, I like to say. And when you lie to it, you break down the fibers of the whole element. It's a spiritual thing. So that's why... The control issue is another attempt to to steer this way or that way of the perception, but still not really healing the inadequacy, but using a different mechanism to do it. And lie is a way to kind of read that through. And when they can't get the reaction or the outcome from it, then they, they go into more in a control, as they call here in the United States, a control freak, <laughs> or you could say a control mayhem. And they do other things to control the situation, control the person that they're lying to, and continue it on. So there's where you get the lying constant. Like, why is so-and-so lying all the time? Why are they doing that? Where it's a psychological disconnect. When a person feel inadequacy or have low self-esteem about themselves or constantly feel they're not good enough, they make it up. That's the beginning. Then they tell a little lie. Then they tell a big lie. Then they get greedy. See, all this is a part of Mr. Fear and his family, like I say. And if you don't know what that is, check my podcast episodes when I talk about Mr. Fear and his families and his cohorts and, and, his, and his comrades and, you know, Mr. and Mr. Worry, Mr. and Mrs. Worry and all that craziness. And that's basically what number two is, that that's why. Why the person always want to control things? Because they're covering up their inadequacy or their inferiority. And it can get really deep, really crazy, really out there, really try like zone okay that's how deep and i they go seriously and it feeds and it goes on and on and on and then you have that ability to lie and you should not now sometimes when people do you can say where they're young and they don't really understand it and they'll go out of it that's the young part 
But as you get older, right, you should know better. And people that get older didn't learn the lesson when they was younger. Maybe, you know, a little child, a little teenager, whatever. They don't really understand it because they're still kind of like a, you know, like a little Play-Doh or whatever in the world. But eventually, they do know right and wrong. And they have to choose that they're good enough. If they don't, then it kind of feeds into that cycle. So let's move on to number three, where I did talk about Mr. Fear and his cohorts and his family. If you want the comedy script on that, you got to sign up to my sub stack because I do do a comedy skip of that family, okay? And it's kind of having a, a way to kind of laugh because it's so painful when they do that to other people that got it together, but they all feel in their lives. It's, you know, it's a way for me to kind of deal with it and laugh and hopefully you can and move forward. So number three of the top three things why some people lie constantly is self-doubt. All right. So Mr. Doubt is at the table at Mr. Fear and his family cohorts. OK, they won't leave Mr. Doubt from the from the table at all. They all in your face. Your business requires enormous courage to just say, no, I'm going to do it anyway. And I seek truth. But Mr. Doubt wants you to not do that. Uh, second guess yourself. Or don't feel like you have good good decision making. Listen to them. But meaning, but basically, they're saying, just sit here and look at this tube right here and don't do nothing else. That's Mr. Dow, okay? He, he, he got a wife somewhere, but nonetheless, he's the main one at the table. So when they lie to you, most of the times in the beginning, they can't stop, okay? No matter how much you cry and tell them, will you please stop? Just tell me the truth. Just, just count one, two, three, tell the truth. Nope, they want to lie. So then over time, the toxicity is so great. You can't even breathe around them and your heart is next. It breaks it down. So oftentimes when that happens, we have a choice. Those that don't lie constantly have a choice. Do you want to wait it out till they finally figure it out? Or do you have to really say, I'm out? And that takes a while, okay? Because you really can get some bad ones that is so good. It takes a while because truth will reveal itself. As Jesus say, will bring what's in the dark into the light. He ain't lying. And eventually you're going to know. And so the ones that can and do, you know, will become better. But the ones that can't, they will just continue to lie from the reality that is not of yours and, and the world. And it's not being in peace. So you have to run in the opposite direction. It was another direction. Hop on that. As long as it ain't the same one that you're in, run it. Okay? All right. So that's really what I wanted to discuss today in my premiere show. I wanted to get into the heart of that because lying to somebody is very, it's unloving and it's painful to everybody involved. So if you're one of those persons that do that, just know that it is a way out. And I have to go to scripture here. You have to call on a higher power. You know, you have to reach out and ask for help because it's like taking away what you're trying to share with someone and experience. And you're not really being there because you're creating something that doesn't serve the other person, it only serve yourself to pump up the self-esteem, but all you have to do is just say, I need to work on myself. I need to believe in myself. You know, you have to do the work. Lying is a cheap, easy way to be able to feel good about yourself, to have control of a situation when really all of this is choices and you have to accept choice. And to do that, I do recommend Listen to my other episodes I'm beginning my season one and season two. I even talk about forgiveness and what that's all about because it's painful. It hurts the heart. It hurts the mind. And over time, you deteriorate your mind. And that's why, for the most part, people get into that set that they can't really put their thoughts together, their mind overall, because they're lying all the time. All right. So your task to dust to dawn is you want to communicate often what your needs are, okay, what your heart needs and all of that and what your mind can be able to logically function with truth. Truth is the medicine. Sometimes it's hard to swallow it, but in the end, just like any good medicine, you feel better later, dancing around, going different places, running marathons, cooking all day, doing all that good stuff. That's after accepting truth. Number two, you're going to use a checklist to what you have in a relationship with the top listing that I put before. And if they do any of that, they're, they're taking away your value. Liars and lies are never your real friend. They are just occupying your life journey space and stealing your mental peace slowly over time. So let me reiterate 
in the beginning, you could say the child or what have you might be doing that. They're not really understanding. They're still learning about life, what they should and should not do. If they're being told not to do it over and over, and by the time they get older, they either have a choice. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to do this and do better. If they choose, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and keep lying like this. I think I'm getting I'm getting away with it. Even they can move on up to a position in, in corporate America, what have you. You listen to what I'm about to say. Lies is like quicksand. It's a slow moving sinking ship. And it might seem like the person is getting away with it and they're older. But you trust me, they don't. Lies is no foundation. There's no trust. So eventually, all those lies that hurt other people, okay, it does. At the end of the day, I don't care what kind of lie it is, it hurt the other person that they told the lie to. A lie has to be told to someone else, right? So eventually, that quicksand is going to engulf them because there is no foundation. There is no truth. It's, it's none of that. And lying breaks down the mind. It's like, I don't care, you know, say. They'll say, well, the person, you know, they just never remember stuff. Mm -hmm. They always lying. How can you keep up with that? Anyway, number three, begin to do activities that remove the energy from you as lies a strong negative energy that sticks like tar or quicksand. So regular energy cleansing, uh, you know, walks, whatever you got to do when you in a commitment with someone else or some type of relationship will have you. Getting active and getting away from that person, getting a breather and doing different things helps you to be able to clear that energy. If you're the liar, you definitely need to get some seriously assistant help to work on the self-esteem. Just let's, let's just go there to the heart of it because we're tired and we want to be able to have healthy relationships that are not toxic. So therefore you have to do the work. And if that means writing in a journal and getting all out and asking for the root of it, why this wasn't learned when you was a child, whatever you gotta do, you do it. So you can feel better about yourself. Lying puts burden all on your soul and spirit. You want to take off. So your motivation take off. Takeaway is you want to love, love your mind and heart for the innocence and freedom of either on the road to forgiving or those that hurt you and telling them that, you know what, your lying really hurts me, please stop. And then you can be completely fine with yourself because you're defining your word because you are moving forward in a positive way life journey. Lying is no food. It's worse than junk food. It's nothing. And you want to give the 360. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today and my podcast show. All right. Guess what? Follow me on Twitter <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. I'm starting my season seven, y'all. I so appreciate this. It's my seventh season podcasting. Okay. Can I go to woo woo? All right. And go ahead and take out my sub sub stack um, premium membership where you get access to me. It's information that, you know, and content, premium content is worth it. Help a sister out and share it. All right. Talk to you in the next one.